Hi everyone, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you the new feature which is rolling out the code pilot for OneDrive. So, we will go to the OneDrive. I can see it here. If I don't see it, I can go to the nine dots. I will choose OneDrive. And now I'm in the home page of OneDrive. So, where is the copilot? So, first of all, if we go to the math files, we can see on the document level, we will see a new icon, which is the copilot. If we press on it, we have three possibilities. To summarize, to create a FAQ, and to ask a question. So if I click ask a question, I'll be, uh, the panel on the right will be open, and I can choose any of these possibilities. I can also uh, view prompts. As you can see here, I can type anything I want. I can attach a file and I can use the microphone. So let's try and uh, use the summarize. So I'm running it and this document actually have has one sentence and actually it just says that uh, I have experience in Excel of one year. And as you can see here, it gives a summary. Now, notice that we saw the copilot icon on the, when I marked it on the item level on over here, but we could also see it on top. So we see uh, this in the top uh, navigation or menu. So what, what else can we do? We can actually compare multiple uh, files. So if I mark, these two and go to copilot I have compare files now what I'm expecting it will do is actually to build a table that will compare uh, both files so as you can see here it says file one year doc who's the author when was it modified and the experience in Excel so, and the second one has five so it's not taking it actually from the title it's taking it actually from the content of the file. You can copy it or you can uh, ask additional questions. So um, this is very interesting. And actually, uh, I was wondering if it's available also in SharePoint. So if we go to the quick access, we can actually go and uh, check it. So I have a site that is called SharePoint Wizard. And if I go here, there's a document library. Here are two documents similar to what we saw. And as you can see now, that now the copilot is available um, for SharePoint files, but the access is only through the OneDrive interface, not through the SharePoint. Because if, if I go now to this document library and mark it, uh, currently it's not available. But that's uh, not bad at all. And actually, let me show you a last feature for this overview. So if I like to share this document, what I can do is, uh, OK, I will go back, sorry, to my OneDrive. And I want to choose a file. Let's look for a file that I want to share. So here we are. And if I share it, Look what I have here. I have this insert, the file summary of using the copilot. So before I share it, the copilot will do a summarize of what's in the document. And you see this document contains list of interview questions. And uh, actually it so solves me lots of things. Here you can give a feedback if it's correct or incorrect. Of course I can, uh, share it with somebody and uh, just send it or copy it. So this is in short the new feature of Copilot in OneDrive. Looking forward for your feedback. I will investigate and find more things and share it with you. Goodbye.